Hey, it's me, Beauty by Cat, 80. So, I just came back home from day one of my vacation, or my staycation, and I bought a couple things for my hair. And I'm really excited about them. So, um, I've been on a search to get some um, shea butter for quite a while now. So, I went to Jamaica Ave and found this tub of shea butter. It was only like $2, so and it's like the real thing, like raw, refined shea butter, whatever. So I'm very excited about that. I want to make some mixtures up and see what I can come up with in my kitchen and put some things together and just see what it really does in this whole natural form. Okay, so I went ahead and bought these because I bought like two of them because I bought one last week and the pump didn't work. So every time I sprayed the freaking trigger, it didn't work and it pissed me off. So hopefully these spray bottles work because they were $1.49 and Times are hard. <laughs> okay, so my next thing that I bought. Okay, I went ahead and bought this um, Jamaica Man <laughs> Mango and Lime Cactus Leaf and Moisturizer. Um, so it's gonna hydrate, extract, and retain natural moisture, repair damaged and dry locks and hair, and um, no buildup. So I, I bought this, and I'm very excited about this because um, it just says to leave, uh, apply it, starting from ends to roots and massage scalp and rub into locks using both hands. Oh, um, I think this might just be for locks, but, um, you know what? I'm gonna use it anyway and see what happens. Um, I was looking for, actually, a detangler that was strictly a detangler, not tied into a shampoo or conditioner, but just a detangler. I didn't have much luck finding any, and um, if you guys know of any detangler that you like, that you can't do without, you have to use, that works on your hair, please let me know. I'm finding that I'm just getting a little bit of, um, some kind of snaggle tooth, you know, issues going on at some parts of my hair that, um, I don't want to pull them out the wrong way, so, you know, that's that. But, again, I bought that Jamaica Man thing to go with my mango and lime Jamaica tingle shampoo, which I absolutely cannot do without. No matter what, I'm going to always buy that because I discovered it and it works well for me. Um, the Jamaica mango and lime protein conditioner, which is my other favorite as well. It just smells divine and leaves my hair really soft in the shower. So maybe I should comb my hair out while it's wet and while I have the conditioner in to detangle it and then rinse it out. So I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, what else did I buy? I bought a couple other things, which I'm very excited about. So, I bought these, like, little flexi rod things. Um, they were $2.99. Not bad. Um, and they're really skinny. These are the skinniest ones I've ever seen. So, hopefully these will fit in my hair. I think they will. Um, but I'm really excited to try these because then I can maybe do some cool little, like, things myself with my hair and not necessarily wait on finding a salon in New York City that's not terribly expensive. Which I don't know if I'll have any luck finding a, you know, natural hair salon in New York City that's not terribly expensive because they all seem to be terribly expensive for the little bit of hair that I have. And I would try, I would rather try doing it on my own than going ahead and paying all this money for something that I could do by myself. Okay, number two. So, I bought a couple other combs. I went kind of buck wild and bought all these combs that I thought that I might be able to use for something. So I bought this one. This is wide tooth and has little picks on the end. So I guess I can try to kind of just comb through the hair with that. Really seems like it's somewhat sturdy. Whatever. 99 cents. Okay. Oh, then my other favorite find of the day is this little twist comb. Okay, so you get a little idea of that. I can twist my hair with that. Just like do the little coils that I want. Like I can just hold it in the back and twist. Twirl it and twist. So I actually have to make a video of me trying to do that and, and see what happens. So that's really exciting. I bought a couple of those as well just because you never know when you won't be able to find something again and I don't want that to be the case. Then I bought um, this big old big old comb. It's a shampoo comb, so I guess I would comb my hair with this when it's wet. I'm in the shower and I'm rinsing it. Shampoo conditioner. This comb is going to be amazing and my new best friend. And then I bought uh, this super comb. It's pink and blue. Yay! And uh, it's, it's got nice little wide teeth as well. So I bought that and hopefully 
um, these things will help me to keep my hair detangled and will help me to just keep it smooth and a bit simpler. I put a bunch of um, the Frederick Fakai uh, Protein RX Repowder Treatment Mask in my hair today. I put it in um, and let it stay in there for the past couple hours while I went shopping to get these things for about two and a half to three hours now. So I'm going to rinse my hair out and see what it feels like and try to do something with all this stuff that I bought. But in any capacity, um, I really would like to know what you guys do with shea butter and what kind of things you mix up together with shea butter. So I have shea butter now. I have um, the apple cider vinegar. I have um, some... I don't have glycerin because I don't know where to find that at, so let me know if you know where to find glycerin. Um, and I have my aloe vera gel that had, doesn't have any alcohol in it. So I kind of want to spend this vacation kind of mixing some things together so that I don't constantly have to re-wet my hair and I can just put them on these spray bottles and make something up and keep it good so it doesn't like spoil or go rotten. So please let me guys, let me know you guys, um, what you have done, what you've mixed up together that are really simple, like two or three ingredients, not like a long, like, master list of eight or ten ingredients, like, I mean, if you have one that works and it's superb and it has that many things to put in it, let me know. I'd prefer something smaller because I don't have a lot of time, but, um, let me know because I'm interested in, in trying to get something that I can depend on that will work on my hair. Alright, so... That's it for today. I will talk to you guys soon and I'm going to try out that twist comb on my hair because it looks very, very good and it'll be really small enough to get all the stuff, all the hair. Okay, have a good day guys. Bye.